Hi and welcome to Rock of Soft tutorial series. My name is Stacy Thatcher and today I'm going to be talking to you about camera automation with PTZ Joy PTZ camera controller software. So PTZ Joy has a lot of different camera automation tools. Single operators can create some really dynamic productions by basically setting their cameras to automatically operate themselves, saving them time, simplifying workflow, and even eliminating error. Today's tool that I'm going to share with you is our Timeline Task Manager. And this tool, you can create playlists to send commands to multiple cameras simultaneously. This is really great for complex um, uh, camera movements um, and basically having your cameras doing things at the same time. So let me just kind of show you our Timeline Task Manager. You can see it right here um, on your screen. Um, I do have my cameras um, set up to view my little racetrack demo um, set up. And then you can also see my two camera views here from my cameras behind me. Um, and I've actually created some um, a timeline, a playlist, if you will, already. And let me just kind of play it back for you to show you, get an idea of what this tool can do. Um, so here you can see is my playlist. I'm just going to press play and kind of explain it as I go. I'm going to go ahead and press play. As you see, my first command was for my two cameras to move to a preset. Then I'm having one camera zoom out, my second camera um, to move right, and then zoom out. And then I wanted my first camera to zoom out and pan right simultaneously. What's next? Oh, and then both of them to go to a preset, which is our little robot there. So that is just an example of a playlist that you can create. There are, are a lot of different commands that you can set this player to do. You can have it um, do so for cameras simultaneously, or as you saw, it can be played on a, on a timeline. So let me just kind of give you a tour around the player itself, and then we can create um, a timeline um, together. So this right hand side here of the um, panel is where you actually set up your timeline recording and then this left side is to play it back okay so let's go ahead and maybe add something to our timeline um, this is the timeline clock so as I mentioned before everything kind of runs on a timeline so if you take a look at my schedule of tasks the first little number here is um, my my time so seconds minutes hours so first what you do is you specify the time that you want this event to take place so let's go ahead and what's my last one 28 seconds so let's say we want something to happen at the 30 second mark 30 seconds and this is where you select your camera so you can select let's do camera one and then this is the list of where you select the command. So there's a lot of different commands. I will link them in the video to where you can see what's available. Things like running through presets, moving, um, panning, tilting, zooming um, in different directions. Um, there's, I'll, I'll post a link. But for now, let's just go ahead and maybe do a preset, just so I can show you how to add it. And all you do is you add the event. And then maybe we can do our camera two to go to that preset as well. And we can add it to our, our list. As you can see here, it was added to the timeline and all you have to do is save the timeline and it opens it up in your file where you wanna save it. And then all you have to do to play it back is press play. And so let's just watch that over again to see our new commands um, added to our timeline here. So this is a really cool tool. Um, you know, really anybody can use this. This tool will help you automate your entire process if you want it. A single camera operator can manage multiple cameras um, with precision and ease. And this can be used in a variety of different scenarios, whether it's a simple setup or maybe a studio um, production. So really, there's a lot of things that you can do with this particular camera. Um, 
let's see here, a few things to mention. You can also play your timeline on a loop. This little button here um, loops this, um, you know, uh, one after the other, basically. Um, all of these timeline files are editable. So this saves it to, as you saw before, I saved it to my computer and then you can actually open this up and edit it um, in there as well manually. Um, so that is our timeline tool. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.